happy Resurrection Day to you and your family. We're so glad you dropped by our kitchen today because we are preparing our Easter meal for our family and friends. Always glad when you come by. You know, when those words were uttered in the garden, he is not here, he is risen. That brought hope to mankind all over the world. Until then, you know, everybody was so sad because the Savior they thought, the one that died on the cross just a few short days before, he was gone. And now what do we do? We don't have our Savior. But just like he said that he would come again, sure enough he did. And came out of that grave with great power, resurrection power, power and authority. And that's what we as God's children today have access to so that we can live victorious lives. I tell you, this is the best time of the year. You know, when my, my mom and dad, and we were kids, my brothers and I, we, our whole lives revol revolved around church, especially during the holidays. But I think even more than Christmas, I believe it was Easter that I enjoyed more because the ladies would come with their hats on and, and everybody dress up, you know. And there was just an air of, wow, it's spring and, and summer's coming and we're out through the winter and through the, the, all the bad weather and whatever. And it's just a feeling of hope that you get when you see the tulips start to come up and you see the hyacinths and you see the daffodils and it all speaks of life. And that's what Easter speaks of too. Jesus came back from the dead and he lives evermore. There's not one place that you can go to in, in the whole wide world and say, Jesus is buried there because he's nowhere to be found. He's in heaven sitting at the right hand of the Father ever praying for you and me. That's what the scripture says. So today, my niece is here, Lisa. She's going to help me get the family dinner together. So stick with us. Right after the hint, we're starting with some really delicious dishes just for Resurrection Sunday meal. Stay with us. Here's today's at-home hint. When cooking pasta, cover the pot after you place pasta into boiling water. The water should be kept boiling and not cooled down to a great degree for the best results. If you have an at-home hint, a favorite recipe, or just a friendly greeting you'd like to share, we'd like to hear from you. Post it in the comments of this video or visit our Facebook page. Well, here we are in the kitchen. My, one of my favorite girls in all the world, my Lisa's here. I'm so glad you came yeah, with me. Yeah, it's nice to be here. Yeah, with the kids no, here. Wound up for this wonderful day. Yeah, they're glad the spring's here finally. Sure. We can play. Get the pool open, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Lise, we're going to make an Easter pie, okay? Mm -hmm. Did you ever make one of these? No. Okay, I'm going to put the crust in here and maybe just go over what the ingredients are and then start to put it together, okay? Okay, okay. so we have the four pie crusts. Because this is a two crust pie, one okay. on the bottom, one on the one top. On this top. makes two pies. And you could half it if you wanted to. Okay, three fourths pound Italian sausage. So you could also use the links, right? Yeah, the links are better if you have them. Because okay. I couldn't find them at my meat market, so we okay. use the regular and just cut them in little pieces okay. and brown it. Okay. Um, six hard-boiled eggs, diced. So it's all chopped up. Okay. I think this is going to be a nice addition. The family all yeah, comes for something the first. Different. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the cheddar cheese. We okay, have cheddar cheese. one cup diced cheddar cheese. Okay. And these are just refrigerated crusts that I'm using because they're so much easier to deal with. Don't have yeah, to worry about them. Just they're wonderful. They're, they're nice and flaky mm -hmm. too. I it saves just, a lot of time, huh? A lot of time and effort. Okay, provolone cheese, half a cup. Okay. And we have okay. our, where, what's the, preheat the oven to what? Um, 350. 350, okay. Okay. And then one and a half cups whole milk ricotta cheese. That's that, yeah. Okay. Do you like ricotta? Yeah, I do. Oh, I do my, too. My, ki my kids actually like it too. Do they? Yeah, I don't, they add it to their um, pasta sauce oh, yeah. and, you know, eat it, it on the It kind of makes it taste like lasagna, huh? Yeah. If you have a plain pasta, mm -hmm. yeah. But that, I like that with just some fruit on it. That's like cottage uh, cheese. Yeah, too. Uh -huh. I like cottage Delicious. cheese Delicious. This kind of almost like a, a quiche kind of, but less similar. Eggs, yeah, huh? similar to it. Yeah. Um, okay, then half a bunch of fresh parsley, chopped fine. fine. Okay. Okay. Put that whole thing in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And that's the flat leaf parsley because that has more okay. flavor than the curly one. The curly is nice to decorate with, but the flat leaf just leaves a better flavor. Okay. You like it better. I'm used to parsley in the jar. <laughs> I, I told on myself today. <laughs> okay, salt and pepper to taste. Okay, now, yeah, just pinch whatever. You want to go low on the salt because the sausage has salt, the cheese has salt. You probably don't have to okay. do too much of that, okay? Now, while she's doing that, I'm just going to, I have the two crusts here, and I'm, I folded the top crust in half, and you have to do some vents to let the steam out while it bakes. So I've just cut a little V in the very center, and then you just want to do some diagonal cuts mm -hmm. on either side. And you can do fancy if you have some like little tiny cookie cutters. You could do those on it. They're cute. They just, they're real nice, but this would be sufficient. Okay, go ahead, dear. Okay, so put um, one egg. Okay. Now that's gonna hold all of that together. That's gonna be like a binding agent. Okay. And that will be good. Okay, the butter. That goes on after. You do that yeah. after. Okay. You wanna mix that up well. And the thing about that is, it should hold together, but it shouldn't, it should not be runny, of a runny consistency at all. So you wanna make sure you mm -hmm. put the one egg in, and then if it's just like too mm -hmm. dry, then you put, then put, yeah, the, put yeah, the other okay. in. But don't do it until you absolutely have to, okay? Okay, I got it's these totally both good. in. We're going to fill them. Could you use um, ham or anything? I think you probably yeah. could. I've not made it with ham, but you could. I think it would be great. Let's, let's put that other egg in there, okay? Yeah. I just feel like it needs it. Okay. Oh! See, that's why I don't like to do it over there. Okay. That's too far away from you. There we go. <laughs> that's when the kids always ask to help. They want to do the eggs. I'm like, oh, the Yeah, shells. that's what you need. <laughs> Inevitably, I drop a shell, and then I have to fish it out. You know, and I'm an adult, and I should know better, but those things come with time. Okay. What's it looking like? Pretty good? Yeah, I think that's holding yeah. together good. Okay. Now, clean up here a little bit. See here. All right, let's try. Okay. We're going to put half of that in each of these pies. Okay. Move that over there a little bit. Okay. All right. You got to decide what's half. Here, I'll hold yeah. and you scoop it down. That's good. Divide it off in the yeah. dish. Great. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Now. I get a um, little beef here. Here we go. This will even it out better. It looks really good. Yeah, it does, huh? Mm -hmm. Yum, I can't wait. You can't even use this for in the morning, huh? It would be nice for a breakfast, yeah, wouldn't yeah. it? Okay, at least you do this one while I put the lid on this one, okay? Now, all we're doing, putting that, remember the little vents I made? There they are. You want to press and turn under. Press them and then turn under. Okay. Press and turn under the edges. Okay, flatten that down. Yeah, just like this, the whole way around. Do you use your, um, yeah, I'm gonna your knuckles? Yeah, I'm going to Well, you know, um, I always have it's a problem Easter. doing that for some I reason. I know, but once you get to, once you learn it, though, it looks so intimidating. Yeah. But at least once you learn it, you'll know how to do this. You'll know. Yeah. It will be amazing. I'll put that one on. I'll let you have this one, and we'll flute together. Okay. Okay. Well, here. Oh, put that on, and then go. just turn it. This put way? the two together. Yeah. And I'll just push them like this, and then turn it under. I'll see. I do top, you do bottom. That's good, as long as you get it done. All right. Kids are getting new clothes for Easter. Well, we're looking. Still, <laughs> still getting it together. Huh? particular, so she has to come with me. You know, know, princess. She likes the skirts now, and then more dresses. <laughs> oh, no more dresses. <laughs> well, sundresses yeah. she likes, but not the not little the... lacy and, you know, yeah. so it's kind of depressing. <laughs> I know, because they grow up so fast. And their hats, the bonnets. I know, I, know, I hate bonnet. that. Okay, okay, we ready? Mm -hmm. Look, take two fingers like this. Let me get this out of the way here. Yeah. Okay, two fingers like this and a thumb. She's left-handed, uh, so you're doing it the other. It's okay. <laughs> and just push in. Okay. Now move and make this thumb the. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Okay. 
You I'm go, kind of girl. Doing it backwards. <laughs> that's all right. As long as you do it, that's the important thing. Wow. I thought you didn't know how to do this, so you surprised oh, this me. This must be better dough to work with. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I've made dough that you couldn't eat, you couldn't work with it, didn't do any no cooperation at all. <laughs> but this is really see neat. that, and that just makes a nice edge on it. Looks prettier, mm -hmm. especially when you do a holiday. Did you thing. spray the pans? I can't remember. No, not oh, this. Okay, you don't, don't have, have to because the crust. Oh, okay. If it's a crust, Enough you don't have to. It. No. Look at that. Nice, oh, huh? Yeah. Look at that little Look extra. Look how pretty. I am so impressed. My fingernails give it a little extra design. <laughs> I know, it gives it a little <laughs> decoration. Okay, okay, now we're going to take, we have to find our little um, pastry brush, which is normal. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. We'll get that other one here. There's another. Yeah, okay. use them. And let's just brush these both. This is just some melted butter. We want to brush the crust because that's going to make a beautiful glaze and get the nice and brown. And Yummy. I guess you could spray it. Could you spray it with some buttered Pam or anything like that? I haven't. I Probably don't know. Probably not as good, huh? Yeah, well, well you know, you don't know until you try. Yeah, that's, that's one true. thing. You have to try it because it probably would be fine. But I hate to tell our viewers yeah. that you can because I don't know. Right. But if you're one of those adventuresome people, try it. Let me know. <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> okay, great. Make sure the edge gets covered. Okay, you did the edges too. Good. Kaylee's, well, Lisa, yours is so pretty, honey. Thank you. I'm impressed. <laughs> now, isn't it funny? We both did the fluting. Hers stands up and mine's flatter. But they're both. That's probably the way I, I tucked it. it wrong. Yeah, huh? but it's beautiful. No, you didn't tuck it wrong. No, it's beautiful. Yeah, good. Top oven. Okay. Okay. Patty, you want to give us a hand? Patty's coming, too, to help. Okay. We're going to put this right up here in the top. You want to listen Side by side, uh-huh. And we're going to set our timer for 35 minutes. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna come back in just a minute with some more yummy things from our kitchen for Easter. Stay with us. Do you love watching At Home with Arlene Williams? Then be sure to check out our new YouTube channel. It's filled with classic episodes from over 20 years of At Home and more videos are added each day. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Well, you know, when it's a holiday kitchen, we keep adding people. Patty's joined mm -hmm. us now because she's going to start an Easter, Italian Easter cookie. It's one of those really light cookies with right. the sprinkles. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Patty, start okay. us. All right, first you we mix in softened okay. butter. We can eat them. Yeah. <laughs> And we even get to like roll them out, I think, too. Yeah, yeah. It, the rolling out takes more time. Takes a little than time, yeah. But it's fun. I mean, it really is. <laughs> it's getting away from me. There's the batter. Okay. And then you put three quarters cup of sugar. Okay. Do you have to cream that together? Yes, you do. Okay. Well, while that's creaming, how about if we start talking about this a little bit? We're going to make this Easter appetizer, Lisa. Mm -hmm. And tell us we have what we have here going. Okay. Um, so we want to get four eggs, hard hard boiled, peeled and cold, and you slice them in half. Okay, that's and what we've done here. We did that. Well, I'll we'll start from the beginning. <laughs> we okay. want to put the yolks in here and mash them up. Mash them up. Now. Your mother helped us there. Thank you so yes. much, Pat. We she appreciate that. a big that. help. Yes. And two tablespoons cream cheese. Okay, soft cream cheese, right? Hopefully that's what soft. What are you adding over there, Pat? I'm adding eggs, Couple one eggs. at a time. Okay. One. How many eggs? Three? Three. Okay. Two. Three. Okay, we'll jump back here now. Go ahead. I'll put the eggs <laughs> Okay, chopped onion. Two okay. tablespoons okay. Chopped, chopped onion. And you have to make this real fine because we're going to stuff this back into the to the egg shell, the, the white of it. So we want to make sure that it's chopped fine. If it's too big, it will never stay there. Okay. And then diced, two tablespoons diced cooked Look how ham. how fine that is. That's beautiful. I wonder if you chopped that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I wonder who chopped that. Okay. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay. And then we just mix this together. Okay. This is really different. It's yeah, like, it's unusual because we always think of the deviled eggs. You just mash that up and put a little mayonnaise to it, or some mustard, whatever. This is different because it's got that little bit of onion plus the ham. Plus, we're going to put these in the oven to let them warm really up. That's really neat to bake. It's going to be good. Yeah. Okay. That's Hopefully coming together. Hold together. No mayonnaise in that either, huh? No mayonnaise you in think it. No, it's just mayonnaise. cream cheese. The cream cheese is what's going to hold, hold it together. Oven. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. No salt or pepper, huh? Yeah, do a little pepper in there because no I think the salt, I think, will be taken care yeah. of with the ham. Okay. But uh, 
See if it works better with the spoon now since you kind of got that mixed up. Okay. And Patty, what okay. are we doing over there? I just added um, vanilla and almond flavoring, which really makes this cookie very good. Both and of them? Yes, vanilla, vanilla and, and almond. almond. Okay. And it that makes it different. so yummy. And then okay. you add three and a half cups of flour. All at one time, huh? Uh-huh. And Great. the um, five teaspoons of baking See, better, yeah. powder, which makes it nice and light. Five? Five teaspoons, mm -hmm. so it makes it really wow. nice it and light. It does make them real light. And you just mix it up real well. Okay, while well, that's mixing, yeah, okay, let's start good. to go ahead and stuff those. Maybe I'll try yeah. to use this one here. You use one in a small little baking dish, because that's all you really need. Maybe I'll help you. Since I'm standing here doing mound nothing. It like that, yeah, you know what I do if like I that. if I don't know how much I have and how far this is gonna go, I put it in and then I go you back and mound it later. It. Yeah. Now, Patty, tell us what temperature and how long those are gonna bake. Okay, well I forgot to tell you, you also add a quarter cup of milk, quarter cup of vegetable oil, which makes it easy to work with. Oh. You bake these at 350. Okay. For about 10 minutes, give about or take. 10. And watch them, because you don't want them getting too brown. Yeah, um, and, the, and the recipe? On the recipe, it said yeah. to bake five minutes on the bottom shelf, which we did yesterday. And it seemed like it made the bottoms too brown. Your oven might be different, so yeah. it might do better. And you need, if they start to brown too much, then we just started putting them on the one shelf for the 10 minutes, but checking them about it after eight. And they eight, came out beautiful. I'll that up on this, yeah. Yeah, they did. Go ahead. Okay. And you know what, Patty? I think that this dough is really easy to work it's with. It's wonderful it? to work with. Look how that's already come away from the bowl. Yeah, it's wonderful to work with. Great. Okay, now, how are we doing over here? You still Good. mounding? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's another process that Lisa's gonna do with those eggs, and you're gonna start to roll those. Start okay. Okay, let's get rid of some of this. Yeah, they, that smells so good, it doesn't does. it? It does. A... Yummy. Okay, now tell okay. them what you do now. Okay, next we're going to spray it with Pam. Okay. Just the, not the just garlic or the weird ones, just the plain just, yeah. <laughs> butter flavor. Just to make it moist. Yeah. Huh? And you're going to sprinkle it with breadcrumbs. So the Italian, flavored ones, yeah. Italian flavored breadcrumbs. And that's going to go back into the oven 400 for just a few minutes. Let me see. Mm, Four to really five beautiful. minutes just to warm them up and heat them up. Oh. Looks really good. Yeah, something different, huh? Mm -hmm. Get tired of doing the same What's thing with nice those hard boiled eggs. Yeah, party. Sorry. You yeah. get tired of eating deviled eggs all the time. You do. You Is really do. Enough, you yeah. Think? You want to go ahead and put those in the oven? And then we're going to help Patty over here. Okay, okay Patty. These you roll into about an inch ball. And okay. then you're supposed to roll them into roll them a into like a rope to a rope, and then you tie them in a knot. Aha! Uh -huh. Tie it in a bow. Okay. <laughs> Here's your damp right, yeah, because we don't want to put the onions in with the cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good idea. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just rolling this into a rope. Right. And they said and then, you could put flour on the thing and do it that way, but. This is just as easy, and I hate having all that flour. Yeah, I seem yeah. to wear more of it than it gets anywhere. And you know what? These puff up because you have five teaspoons mm -hmm. of baking soda or powder? powder? Powder. Yeah. And they bake up real nice. They do, and they're and they're very they're, they're rich with eggs, so they really are and nice. And that almond flavor with that vanilla is just oh, heavenly. Yeah. Looks like a baby it's, in a bun thing. It's almost <laughs> like a ton of lids. Did you ever hear of ton no. of lids? Is that Italian? It's like a, and they also tie it in a knot. Oh, do they? Okay. The well, maybe that's where they get it from. Maybe. Now, there's an icing that goes on this. We'll show these when we get to the, um, the dining room table because we want you to see them. They bake very quickly. Again, be watch, be very careful of your oven. This makes about how many dozen? Three it's or four? About three or four dozen, give or take. Nice cookie though, very and freezes well. And we're gonna put these little sprinkles on top of the icing. Make your icing pastel a light pink, light yellow, light green. Don't go heavy like Christmas colors. We don't want that now. Okay, we're gonna take a break. We come back. We're gonna be in the dining room with everything you've seen, plus some more surprises. We'll be right back. Just go to ctvn.org slash at home to get all the recipes from today's show for free. That's right. No subscriptions, they're available online at no cost, and more are being added each day. So join us at ctvn.org slash at home to get today's recipes now. Well, here we are in the dining room. We've set it up for a buffet today because some of my favorite people here and the rest of the family is coming later, but just look at this table full of color because it is indeed spring and you want to use the colorful time at the table when it's spring. We're going to start down here. There's our Easter pie and it's delicious. 
that's hot out of the oven. You can eat it hot or cold. Basically, though, I think it's better hot. And then next to it over there are our appetizers, the great Italian appetizer. And they are just um, a little bit warm in the oven. They're really good. I think you're going to like oh, those yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. And then our cookies. Patty, tell us about the cookies briefly. Cookies are wonderful. They're light. They're almond flavored. The icing is just perfect. Nice. And then what we've done, we've just added, we start here. We had a Pasca. Patty put a Pasca together for us. We also have a wonderful fruit salad. This is always, always appropriate. Made like a, a potato dish. This is potatoes au gratin. Put a broccoli cauliflower salad together there. And that's just a really, that's one of those favorite ones everybody likes. And of course, down there in the front, you have to have a ham. And that's the one, if you have my cookbook, it's the Arlene's chili ham, because that has that red chili sauce in it. You're going to like it. And of course, we have some beverages. And then over here, we have our lamb. And we just think he's, that's just so great. Patty mm. made that, mm. patty cakes. Mm. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Looks almost like furry, like you can <laughs> touch him, huh? Mm. So if you've got some ideas from today's program, and which I hope you have, and the girls helped me so much, thank you. Oh, you're thank welcome. Thank you, can't wait to we eat, huh? get, the, get the rest of the family <laughs> together. Be sure to join us the next time, because it just wouldn't be the same without you, and have a blessed, blessed Easter. God bless you. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.